okay uh, we are here in the Mr. Wind and we went through some uh, topics today uh, sauna and uh, sauna and what else did we learn a little bit of uh, GPS. GPS okay we'll start with the sauna Sona, S O N N A R. Sometimes it's N A, eh? Sona, Sona, eh? How you pronounce it? Sona, Sona, eh? Sona, Sona. Okay. Sona is basically on the ship like this, eh? Something is in here that sticks out like that eh? and watches like the angle you put eh? the angle eh? how many angle eh? say that's um, eh? that's uh, 30 degrees eh? 30 degrees so it's watching there I had 30 degrees and from the wheelhouse from the wheelhouse you adjust your range I told you guys range is what distance. range is distance so this guy gonna go say um, 40 fathom eh? 40 uh, 40 what we were talking about 40 what was the measurement there 40 fathom, eh? eh? 40 fathom. So one fathom is equal to five? Five? Five feet. Okay? So five times 40? So it's 200 feet, eh? eh? When you put the range, your range, your range, you remember that button? The switch, eh? The range. When you put your range to 40, when you put 40, it basically means right. that your sonar is going to 200 what? 200 feet. Eh? So it's scanning around the boat. Eh? Yes. It's scanning around the boat 200 feet, depending on that sector you put. You can put sector like that. Eh? Remember? You can make a full scan. Remember? Yes. Okay. So that is understood, eh? What we went through today. Eh? So it's basically something underneath us, the ship or the fishing boat in front, eh? And it's scanning, eh? It's scanning, like scanning, eh? It's scanning, eh? And it also can scan around depending on the sector you put you remember that sector you can all, all only do that eh? you can do further this side eh? half eh? you can also do the full screen eh? right around the boat to scan and depending on the degrees on the angle you put eh? Albacotuna it's best to put it on 11 11 degrees eh? on the angle of 11 degrees you remember that thing I was pushing down and the thing keep going down yes. the angle yes. to scan eh? so 11 is good why because when it's bad weather it's further down eh? because sometimes this boat lifts up eh? lifts up and this thing goes like that eh? When the boat lifts up like that, eh? then you're scanning on the surface and there's too much di disturbance. The one I saw you guys there. And those disturbance look like fish and it can fool you. Okay? You get the idea what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, that's good. Okay, any question on the sonar? Misa, any question on the sonar? So high frequency, low frequency, 
What's the meaning of high frequency? We, What's the meaning of low? What happens if we turn the frequency too high? Oh, see, because that frequency is set at 105, eh? I think it's megahertz. Something like that. Eh? That's a high frequency. Eh? High frequency. Eh? Uh, this one is fixed on the boat. Eh? You cannot move it up or down, it's fixed on 1.5. This is the good range to scan the fish. When you put more, say 300, eh? say 300, eh? 300. What happens when you scan? The scan is so strong it hits the fish. So there's an electronic field that hits the body of the fish and the fish run away. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, it gets electrocuted because the scanning that's coming, it's uh, got some wave, some electrical current that bangs them on their body and they get scared and they run away. So that's why we have only 215. That's a high frequency, yeah? And the low, it's got 85, eh? The low, eh? The low frequency. The low frequency, it's 85. Eh? Like that. Eh? So, if you go more than that, you must be careful. Because the wavelength that's coming to scan them, when it hits them, it's the body of the fish, they get scared and they run away. So, this is fixed. This is fixed, this is fixed. Eh? Then you can select. You can uh, be on the screen only on the high or on the low. Or if not, you have both. Both scanning at the same time. Remember? Yes. One screen of the that screen and there's two sona going on at the same time. High. This is high and eh? this is low. High frequency, low frequency. And depend how you want to scan, full scan or or that much to scan, you know, eh? or that much, half, huh? Huh? so half means you just from here, from the middle of this vessel, go the other side half, and it's just sweeping like that, unless you change the sector um, uh, knob, so that it comes further down, eh? or full. So the high frequency is the best. You always see the fish. The low, what you see on the low? You see the plankton. Plankton, the see bait, the, see the bait. bait ball, the wake, the propeller when it pushes, the wake. There's a low catch, you see. Okay? When you see the side of the fish, eh? When you see the sign of the fish on the sonar, eh? It's uh, that's the center of the the center of the sonar. That's the center of the ship. It's, eh? it's scanning forward, back, eh? the radius. Eh? So when you see a fish and the boat is traveling this way, okay, this is your heading, and then you see the fish here like that. Eh? On the screen, on the high frequency, eh? you'll see that. So the boat is traveling this way. Eh? So this angle. 45 degrees, if you turn 45 degrees, then you'll hit this school. And depending on the range, what you put in, eh? 40 fathom, uh, eh? Or 60 fathom, eh? But 60, you, remember, you, has, you have to times it by 5 to make it fit. Because fit, you know, the measurement. Fathom is kind of, uh, eh? Meters is much better if you change this to meters. Eh? This uh, sonar we have here can go 1,000 meters. This sonar we have here can go as far as 1,000. And when it goes 1,000, it scans slowly because it's too far. When it's closer, it scans fast. The speed, eh? So that's the school of fish. When you're going this way, then 
you know the boat is going this this heading eh? so you know at this angle I turn my ship 45 degrees I will hit this fish and when this boat comes over there passes this fish then you see another a screen it's called the sounder eh? or depth sounder eh? depth sounder eh? so there's a scan on the boat there scanning down below whatever it sees down below here eh? Eh? that's a fish okay, scanning right down below this yeah. is the this is the depth sounder. This is the sonar. You see the two different machines. Yes. This one scans ahead. This one scans down below. If there's a bottom there, you have to put your range. Just like the range we have here. To go further, you can go further down. And when you go further down, if it's too shallow, you're gonna see the depth. It's gonna be written here: three point five fathom so 3.5 converted to meters times 5 feet but two feet yeah so 3.5 fathom times 1 uh, times 5 so that's about 15 16 16 and a half yeah. so 16 and a half what feet yeah okay. you know this vessel this boat this boat is 12 what Point one feet. One feet. Eh? Everywhere you go, you must know the depth of this boat is 12.1 feet. Eh? So you must be going 13, 14, it's safe. Soon as it's 10, you know what's going to happen to the bottom. It's going to touch. Eh? If it's a rock, it's going to scratch the paint. Eh? Scratch your sonar, whatever down below. Test do the all scratch. So always play safe and go see. That's about four and a half or four something. Feet clearance. That's good. That's why we come here, we park here. We can't go for, go further in because it's too shallow. Eh? And you don't want, there may be mud there or something there. You don't want to hit it. Eh? It was crest the pain. This boat just came back from the slipway. Eh? Spend about fifty-six thousand dollars just putting the zinc, the underwater paint, and all those paint is uh, environmental friendly. It's not any kind of paint you put there. It's a very expensive paint, eh? Yes. And the zinc, the zinc is put there so that the metal of the boat doesn't give. The zinc gives. It's a sacrificial anode. There's a metal, soft metal, stick to the boat. It's called a zinc. It's like a lead stick on the side. Eh? So the hull of the ship doesn't get rusty. That one gets eaten up. And then you change it every year, every whatever. When you go up to the shipyard. Eh? Okay, any more question about the sounder and sonar? Huh? What if, uh, if it's bad weather that we can use, if the sound does, if there's a problem happening to the sound, like a technical problem, we can use the rope to measure the depth of the Rope is the old model when you come to a river. That rope you put in the deep sea, that they keep going, that they will not touch, that they too deep. Because that fit there might be 2,000, maybe 5,000 feet, so that rope will not reach. That rope will only reach in shallow places like this. Eh? That's the olden days depth sound. I put the rope down. Eh? Today's day, do you have this all this latest uh, uh, sounder? Eh? Depth sounder. Depth sounder and uh, sonar are two different equipment. But the sonar can do the depth sounder. Can also do the sonar to scan ahead can scan down below, can scan ahead. The echo sounder is only down below. It doesn't go ahead, it's only down below. Whatever it's underneath the vessel, the echo sounder sees it. Eh? And puts it on the screen. 
and how it's connected that's the bottom of the ship eh? there's something here hook up there eh? like this eh? it's hook up there it's like that eh? Eh? this hook up on the bottom of the boat and at the bottom here eh? at the bottom of this eh? Eh? at the bottom at the bottom of this it scans down below like whatever it sees here it will tell you on the screen on top eh? whatever it sees here and the boat is moving and when the fish come to the school of fish when it goes ahead the sonar sees it eh? the sonar sees the fish and you go past and when you go past the boat the fish will come here and then you tell your boys hey the fish coming on the bottom get ready so the fish come here at the bottom they'll start pulling the fish all these fish you see okay set stop mother for a while and then we'll continue